Okay. Yep, a lot of things. Challenge the Pokemon League. Go talk to Arvin, wherever the fuck he is, you know. Yeah, we'll, we will... Well, we'll worry about that when we... We'll worry about that when we worry about that. Right now, we gotta go to class. Let's see. Also, yeah, I don't... I think we're gonna probably... You know, we're gonna take this time to maybe train some Pokemon up. Let's see. Who needs it? You need it. <laughs> Charmander. F Flambino. Uh. Why not? Eh, you're not going to be all that useful. Yes, I like this. Oh yeah, great task. We finally get to do this with you. Oh, never mind, we're good. We did it. Because we're cultured like that. I mean, it's got any, uh, cool marks? Okay, no. Just these three. Alright. Moving right along. To the entrance hall. Do, 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 do. Good morning, Miss Cosma. What class would you like to take? Let's see. I uh, got Biology 4, Math 4, Battle Studies 4, and Home Ec 4. We'll go Home Ec 4 first. You'd like to take Home Ec with Mr. Cigarro? Class will begin soon. Don't be tardy. Put away your phones, it's time to begin cloth. So some of you had, a, had to retake the midterm exam multiple times. I'm glad to say that the majority of the class passed without issue. I feel honored to see that the knowledge and skills indispensable, uh, the knowledge and skill indispensable for everyday life has taken root in all of you. I trust that you will all just as hard on... <laughs> I, ah, fuck. One, two, three. Gonna redo it. I trust that you will all work just as hard on your life skills in the second half of, e of our course as well. Let us now turn our attention to the topic of the day, which was inspired by a question I received on the subject of meal powers. The student who asked the question is a young man who enjoys the culinary arts. He tells me that he regularly researches culinary techniques on his own and pays careful attention to the uh, uh, and pays careful attention to the ingredients he uses. Sorry about that, folks. He also spends day and night studying all aspects of the culinary arts. Yet, despite this. He is baffled by his inability to increase the effectiveness of his meal powers. So tell me, Miss Cosma, since you did quite well in the midterm exam, would you, uh, what should our, <coughs> I mean, this young man do to increase the effectiveness of his meal powers? He should make food more often. He should make food with other people. Perfectly correct! 
I see that you are knowledgeable about the culinary art. To increase the effectiveness of meal powers, your sandwiches must be filled with many different ingredients. For a single person, this may prove difficult, but if you prepare a sandwich with others, you will be able to handle a larger serving of bread. Which, uh, with, a larger, uh, with a larger base stat to start, it becomes quite simple to add more ingredients to your sandwich. Which, in turn, makes it possible to receive meal powers of increased effectiveness. This applies more broadly as well. Will, when dealing with a difficult issue, working with others to solve that issue can be the best, uh, can be the best course of action. I am sure that Arvin will likewise work um, with friends to craft his sandwiches in the future. <laughs> the identity of the male student is a matter of privacy, so I would ask you, do not pry too deeply. Our time together has come to an end for today. I bid you all farewell. Hey, Gaster. Whew. All right. Let's go talk to Mr. Cigarro in the staff room. So colorful. Ah, Miss Cosma. There is something I would like very or something I would very much like to ask you for your help with. You need, uh, you need my help? Well, you see, I do not I do not want anyone to overhear this, but I hear room. I hear uh, rumors of an incredibly sweet condiment that exists somewhere in the Paldea region. I absolutely must experience that ambrosial sweetness for myself. Um, you are the only one who knows. Uh, who knows of my insatiable sweet tooth? Thus, I have no one else I can turn. Uh, turn to for this um, help in this matter. I cannot go looking for this condiment myself, lest I destroy the image I have of the, lest, unless I destroy the image the students have of me. I will repay you for your troubles, of course. Give it a, um, give it some thought, if it piques your interest. In the meantime, I will gather um, what information I can about this incredibly sweet condiment. I will share what I find with you as soon as I have more detailed information. You feel trusted by Mr. Seguro. Cool. We're boys now. <coughs> Alright, what am I doing? Entrance hall! Entrance hall, entrance hall, entrance hall. You gotta entrance hall, entrance hall, entrance hall. Oh, wait. <coughs> there we go. Okay. Battle studies. You'd like battle studies with Miss Dendra? Class will begin soon. Don't be tardy.
Another day, another round of battle study. Oots! Let's get right to it. You all gave everything you had on the midterm exams. Well done. We'll resume regular classes today, so keep up that energy for the second half of the term. Um, have you all been um, using the R button to send out your Pokemon? Holy fuck, Great Tusk is huge. <laughs> it's like I've showed up to class and I'm like, yo, what's up? Oh, you got a Meowth? Oh, that's cool. We got this prehistoric Dawn fan. If you do, your Pokemon will run off in the direction they're facing. You're facing. It's a super useful tactic that lets your Pokemon pick up faraway items for you. And that's not all. If there's a wild Pokemon nearby where you sent out your Pokemon, they'll start battling each other. You can call these battles Auto Battles. Just uh, as the name implies, your Pokemon will act on its own during auto battles, meaning you won't have to give it any commands. And if your Pokemon wins, it'll get um, experience points, just like in a regular battle. If you can make good use of these battles, they, um, that can really be a uh, ah, that can be a really efficient way uh, to train your party. But you'll want to remember. Um, but what you'll want to remember, ah, fuck. But you'll want to remember that Pokemon won't evolve or learn new moves right away if they level up uh, from an auto battle. Also, if a Pokemon loses an auto battle, it'll come back with a small amount of HP left. Um, make sure to heal it up right away. Whoops. Um, whoops. I just did uh, the whole class as a. What, <laughs> did I just. Ah, uh, oh, fuck. Whoops. I just did the whole class as a one sided lecture. Does anyone have any uh, questions so far? Let's see. Yeah, I'm really curious about this one. How do I stop auto battles? No questions here. Yeah. Great. Um, you're all um, you're all good at this. I can't wait to see where you go from here. Even during auto battles, um, our Pokemon. Even during auto battles, um, our Pokemon are out there battling for us, their trainers. Keep an eye on them as much as possible, and if it looks like you're. Um, it looks like they're tr you're going to lose. Be sure to have them retreat. Also, this goes without saying, but Pokemon with low HP are already worn out. They probably won't enjoy auto battles as much, so don't work them too hard, okay? In conclusion, auto battles only work if a trainer and their Pokemon have a relationship of mutual trust. Be smart with how you use auto battles, so you don't lose trust of your Pokemon. Oh man, I was just about to suggest we do some hands-on practice to really drive the point home, but I guess we ran out of time as usual. Class is now over! Take care, you little rascals! Great Tusk was right next to me. <laughs> All right. Two more classes left. Oh wait. Does Miss Dendra have a uh, mission or something? Yes, she does. Miriam, just try it. What's wrong? Oh, great timing, new kid. Nurse Miriam um, here won't even try the sandwich I made. Well, duh. I don't want to have a stomachache. Huh? You won't? 
Probably. Um, I still remember that sandwich you made me with meat filling and meat for bread. That one really messed me up bad. I hadn't trained in the art of sandwich making yet back then. I was young, I was young and thoughtless. And... Young and thoughtless? It was last month, ha <laughs> ha. So, as you can see, I'm not getting anywhere trying to persuade her. Even after I went through the, that intensive sandwich making training, it kind of makes me sad. She went through intensive sandwich making training? She worked really hard on it, at it. Oh, I guess I have no choice if you've got one of our... If you, <laughs> I guess I got no choice if um, you've got one of our cute little students by your side. So fine, I'll try the sandwich. Let's see it. Yes! I knew you'd come around. Here it is. It's, uh, it's a little strongly flavored, but I guess it's not bad. Woohoo! Woo my training paid off. I'm so glad my sandwich has pleased the great Nurse Miriam. I look up to you, you know. You feel trusted by Miss Dendra. Thank you for, uh, thank you for trying it, and thanks to you, new kid. She ran off again. That was weird. But just how is Miss Den? But just how Miss? But that's just how Miss Dendry is, I guess. She's always coming into the nurse's office with some injury or another too. Oh. Where are we headed? To the entrance hall. We got two classes left. Uh. Yep. All right. So we have biology and math. Let's do math. Because I know biology, we won't have to talk to uh, what's his face afterwards. All right, you like math with you like math with Miss Time? Yes, I would. Class will begin soon. Don't be tardy. Hello, everyone. Well, um, well done on the uh, midterm exam. Some of you earn perfect scores, and other of you seem and others seem to have a bit of trouble. But I can tell you all tried your best. I am quite pleased to say that every last one of you passed. I can only assume that this means you have all come to love numbers. Stay sharp and try your best for the rest of my classes too. Speaking of staying sharp, do you know, um, do you know how that word applies to Pokemon battles? That's right, it has to do with stat boosts. As a Pokemon stats can rise and fall throughout the course of battle, correct? For example, if a Pokemon uses, a, um, uses the move Work Up, its attack and special attack stats will rise by one st uh, stage each. And, as you uh, may know, each time a Pokemon's attack or special attack rises one stage, moves affected by that stat will deal 50% or more damage. If the same Pokemon uh, from the previous example were to use Work Up again, both of its attack and special attack stats will have risen by two stages total. This will result in a 100% increase to damage dealt 
making the moves twice as strong. Swords Dance, on the other hand, boosts attack uh, by two stages at once, allowing the Pokemon to deal double damage um, after a single use. Using Swords Dance twice will boost the, uh, the Pokemon's attack stat by four stages. How much more damage will, that po will this Pokemon deal? Triple damage? Wow! That's great! Uh, you answered this difficult question with ease, Cosma. I guessed. Because I forgot the answer. Each stage of a Pokemon's attack, a special attack stat, is inc uh, increases its damage by 50%. So, being raised four stages would result in a four times 50 oops, sorry, or result in four times 50% or 200% increase. The base damage of the move is 100%, so by adding 200, that gives us 300%. In other words, the po next Pokemon's move, uh, the, uh, the next move the Pokemon uses will deal triple damage. Type matchups, difficult hit damage, and other factors all play into, this, into these calculations as well. So, even a small boost uh, must be taken seriously. By the way, if a stat simply rose, that means it's gone up by one stage. If it, sharply, if it rose sharply, that means two stages. And if it rose drastically, that means three stages. Um, you can see, uh, you can also, just um, so you know, X attack and X special attack is an item which can be used in battles and can be used to sharply boost those respective stats. Oh my, is that the bell? I suppose that's all for now. What a shame. Today's lesson was a little difficult. Be sure to review uh, what you've learned in order to stay sharp. I'll see you again next class. Yeah, um... Shaven Foresight. I'm good. Um, thank you. In fact, I'm gonna... I'll think about it. Uh, but something I am gonna do is, uh... Yeah. Right, there we go. We're just gonna... Go over here a little... We're, um, yeah, sorry. Uh, sorry, YouTube people. We're gonna cut here and move on. Oh, hello. Here we are. Go to stream manager. Where is you? Yes, we're gonna. Yes. And Shaven Foresight is banned. Oh, don't hit my switch. I need to switch. <laughs> Here we go. Oh, I, I, gotta, I gotta say this to uh, yeah. watching while streaming. <laughs> there we go. Good evening, Miss Cosma. What class would you like to take? All right, biology, and then we're done. They're going to talk about. Um, I'd like to draw people's attention to uh, 
Cape and Joel and Matt FOS. Oh yeah, we'll do. No, fuck this. We got to go take math class. Hello, hello, hello! I hope everyone is ready to learn some new things today. You all did really great on the midterm exam. Thanks for uh, thanks for answering my little question at the end too. I'll be sure to keep your responses in mind. All right, we are now headed into the last half of our classes together. It's time for our knowledge to grow, to evolve and grow, just like our Pokemon. Evolution, yep. <laughs> Evolution. Today, we're going to learn about the fascinating phenomenon of Pokemon Evolution. As your Pokemon battle, as your Pokemon battle and level up, they learn, moves and get stronger. And for some Pokemon, once they've leveled up enough, their appearances change and their stats increase, sometimes by a lot. That's Pokemon Evolution. Pokemon very strong, uh, well, Pokemon become very strong when they evolve. Um, by making uh, by making some trusted partners in battle, I, I think that was just awkwardly written. But some Pokemon, some people prefer to keep their Pokemon in an adorable pre-evolved state. To do this, uh, you just need to enable a certain button. You just need to uh, remember. Uh, sorry, not enable. To do this, you just need to remember a certain button, uh, which Pokemon begins to evolve. Uh, when your Pokemon begins to evolve. Say, say it with me if you already know. To cancel Pokemon Evolution, press the B button. That's right, everyone. B for best answer. The button you want. The button you want when you need to stop a Pokemon from evolving is the B button. If you press the B button soon after a Pokemon uh, begins to evolve, you can stop it from changing. You can also let you can also let Pokemon hold an item known as an Evel Stone to keep it from evolving. And keep in mind that the requirement uh, the requirement for evolution differ from Pokemon to Pokemon. Some may evolve from a certain stone such as Fire Stone, Thunder Stone, used on them. Others may have to learn a specific move or different uh, specific Pokemon in battle to evolve. The way Primeape evolves into Nihilape is especially strange. You see, there's a certain move that... I already know I have it on Nihilape. Oops! Sorry, looks like we are at the time. I'm glad... Uh, I guess... Uh, we'll have to end class for today. Thank you all for your attention. <clears throat> Always we will fight as one. Now I've got to do this. All right. So here's what we need to do. We're gonna go to the cafeteria and we're gonna talk to time. Okay. <laughs> <coughs> Ooh, I hit it too strong. I hit it too strong that time. All right. Cosma, you scared me. 
Were you cooking something? Oh no, I'm not really here for anything fruit related at all. I was just walking around the entrance hall. And I felt that intense gaze that I told you about before. So I quickly ducked into the cafeteria here. Our cafeteria has only one entrance, so I thought I might be able to discover the identity of the person watching me if they followed me in here. Ah, someone come, uh, ah, someone's come just now. It's that girl. Huh, that's weird. I thought I saw her come in here. Oh, that's weird. I thought I saw her come in here. I guess I won't be able to ask her my question today either. That girl. I feel like I've seen her several times before. She seems to be a student here, but I get the feeling that her question is not about her studies. Next time I see her, maybe I'll go start up a conversation myself. I could have been a little it could have been a little scary being um here on my own. I'm glad you were here with me. Cool, you feel trusted by Miss Time. Yay! I'm the teacher's pet. I could do no wrong. Alrighty. We've done everything. Now we got now we get to do this. Now we get to do this. Wait. Wait, wait. I think I need to take that lucky egg. Ada. Oh, Ada's right there. No, Ada's got the lucky egg. Ada's. Yeah. We're good. We're good. Oh. oh, wow. Look at Great Tusk. He's Great Tusk is huge. All right. Let's go find all the purple shrine locations. Okay, first up, go into Artisan. I hate that it I hate that it does that. <laughs> 